everyone and welcome back to The Chronic Corner. This episode is all about how much your weight can fluctuate when you have a chronic illness. Now this is something personally that I've dealt with um, a lot throughout my chronic illness journey and I felt like there should be some more resources out there for it because I don't hear it talked about a lot. So initially people, I think as society, we quickly judge people who gain a lot of weight as being negative and people who lose a lot of weight as being positive. Um, however, when you have chronic illness, it can be very difficult to not only um, keep weight on, but also lose weight. And there's a lot of different factors that can play into this. So it's important if you know someone with a chronic illness to not judge them for gaining or losing weight and try to understand what they're going through. It could be something very serious, you know, you never know. Personally for me, I um, gained about 30 pounds in two months. Right when I was diagnosed, they put me on a new medication for POTS that I did not stay on for very long. Um, and that caused that, which at the age of 13 was very difficult mentally to deal with. At any kind of major weight gain or loss I think is difficult to deal with um, anyways, at any age. So there are a lot of different factors that can play in to weight gain and weight loss, especially when you have a chronic illness. Um, one is medications. There are quite a few antidepressants and steroids um, that I know of personally that can cause weight gain and it's very important to monitor that when you're on those. Another thing is hormones. Hormones can change your metabolism and how much weight you gain so easily. Um, things like anything involving your thyroid, menopause, time of life, all of these things can change how your weight fluctuates and how easy it is for you to lose weight. And there are even some medical conditions that I know affect your ability to lose weight and how and make you gain weight um and i know people like i i'm pretty much on the one end where i have a much easier time gaining weight i don't have a problem of keeping weight on <laughs> plus i love food so that doesn't help either but i know people who have dysautonomia and chronic illnesses that cannot keep weight on whether it be for gi issues that um they have problems maintaining um, a full stomach. I know people who just aren't hungry and have no appetite, and some medications can also cause loss of appetite. So there's a lot of different factors, and then symptoms. I know personally for me, when I'm having GI issues, I usually will lose quite a bit of weight, probably like 10 to 15 pounds, because I feel sick to my stomach all the time and nauseous, and the last thing I wanna do is think about food or eat. Whereas at the other end of the spectrum, say my fatigue is really bad and I'm in like a flare that lasts a few weeks to a month, then at that point I don't have any energy to exercise and I'm eating normally. So yeah, you're going to gain weight. If you're bedridden, you're going to gain weight. You know, it, it's something that is really, really common in the chronic illness community. I think I've gone back and forth between a range of about 30 pounds over the 10 years um, that I've had POTS and it's really, really difficult. And I keep seeing um, these posts on Instagram in particular about your self-worth and that it's not measured by your size or shape um, or your illness. And I think it's something that we all need to hear and to try to keep in mind when we're going through our chronic illness journey, whether we're having a hard time and we're gaining weight or we're not able to keep weight on or losing weight, it's really important to remember that you're worth, like so worthy of everything um, that your size does not define you at all. Now, of course, with all things with your health, make sure that if you are experiencing rapid weight gains or decreases that you consult a medical professional just to make sure that it's, it's nothing serious. Um, and to monitor everything, but it, it is very common and I really hope this helps you realize that you're, you're not alone. A lot of people with chronic illness deal with weight fluctuations. So for more things dysautonomia, visit dinette.org. Thank you so much for watching.